you say you want mid fade and then that and that. Yeah. Alright, cool. I think we can do it. What about on top? I got crop style. Uh, crop, okay, a crop style. Alright, let's do it. YouTube, what's going on guys? So this is gonna be, this is a fun one, man. This kid right here had so much personality. They were talking about um, him maybe doing a YouTube channel, and man, I think he would be perfect for one. But they wanted a crop top um, with some texture, so I, I'm, I worked on this panel right here in the middle the most because I wanted to make sure he had a squared shape, everything straight up um, with a flat line across. And then we did um, vertical sections just to cross check and uh, add a little bit more texture to his hair. Probably, probably cut off like a half inch, I would say. Now here I'm just making sure that everything is squared to the sides. Everything on top is squared to the sides. So once we've done that, I'm gonna take my one and a half guard all the way closed. And we're just gonna blast through this bulk here. Um, pretty much creating a I would say like a base to start to start on because I know above this one and a half guard I'm just gonna focus on blending the top into it and then fading a ball fade into a one and a half guard is pretty pretty simple as well so we started fading down from that one and a half guard using my number one guard open and then closing it little by little and if you notice I'm working right below that one and a half guard. Like, we didn't go down an inch and start cutting with this one guard. All right, we went right below that one and a half guard. Right beneath that one guard open, we're gonna use our half guard. So I started off about halfway open and then I closed it as I went down. And honestly, this is gonna set me up so that when I balled him out, I don't need to use any more guards. I'm just opening the lever little by little until it blends in because that blends into a half guard, right? A no guard blade open blends into a half guard. Now the reason why I'm fading down like this on him is because I never cut his hair, he's a kid, and I didn't want to start with a bald line, and if he's not patient, he can't get the cut, I want, I, like once you bald him out, you got to finish it, <laughs> right? Because there's there are some times where I've faded down to about the blade open, and then we just did a shadow fade and a taper because it was quicker to finish, you know what I mean? Um, so what I did just now was I went clipper all the way closed, created a, a slight line, guideline, and then we faded up, um, opening the lever little by little until the blade is all the way open. Once it's all the way open, it should blend right in because you finished the off last with the half guard. But if there is still a line or something like that, you can slap that half guard back on to clean up whatever, wherever you need to clean it up. So we'll do the same thing on this side, clipper all the way close, and then we'll open it little by little until the back is blended. All right, clipper all the way close, and it's creating a slight guideline there because we left off with a half guard. And then pretty much I open it a quarter of the way, then halfway, and then by the time it's three quarters open, um, it should be blended, to be honest. Sometimes you have to open it up all the way, but typically it'll be blended at three quarters of the way open. And it's looking, it's looking pretty blurry. Obviously we have the section above the one and a half guard that we started with that we got to blend. Um, but this, this to me is the hardest part, so. I'm, I'm happy to knock that part out now. All right, and then the last step is using the trimmer to completely bald out the bottom. You shouldn't be creating a new line. It should just be blending right in because 
you just left off with clipper all the way closed right so the the trimmer should blend right into that clipper all the way closed if you create a little bit of a line just use the corners of your trimmers and flick out a little bit it should it shouldn't leave a a, a new line though all you're really focused on right now is is uh shaving off the bottom hair here Man, he was he was talking, man. Uh, it was so funny. He was talking about how he has a girlfriend. <laughs> he was talking about YouTube, the toys he likes to play with. He's like, my dad watches your channel all the time. Cute kid. All right, so before I'm moving on, you guys can see I'm just kind of detailing, using some corners and stuff. You don't have to do this step because we're going to detail after we line him up anyways but uh you can all right so now we are going to blend the rest of it in excuse my yarding and i decided to blend down because i don't want to go up too high and ruin um the length that's on top so we went with a number three guard going straight off the shape of his head not into the top and then the two guard underneath the three guard and then the final step should be this one and a half guard um, open, closing it little by little. And by the time it's all the way closed, it should be faded. Because remember, we started to cut with the one and a half guard. Now, for whatever reason, it doesn't. Could be hair texture, density, shape. Um, then you can just go follow through like I'm doing right here with the next guard down, which is the one guard um, open. All right, once I've done all those steps, at this point, I'm just kind of detailing, trying to make sure it looks as gradient as possible. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Started with the number three. You can start with a number four as well. Number four will, would work, or a three guard open. <clears throat> Sometimes you gotta use trial and error, hop back and forth. Um, right be below that, the two guard, then again, the one and a half guard, all the way open, closing it little by little, and then detailing from there. You might have to follow through, go the next guard down, which is the one guard open. Um, but yeah, it's a different way of fading. But again, the reason why I chose to fade this way was just in case, you know, he wasn't feeling feeling the whole barbershop thing because we might be able to switch it up and do like a shadow fade into a ball taper. Uh, I just kind of do that by default. But from the from the get, you could tell that he was going to be good. Towards the end, he was like, yo, we almost done? <laughs> And I'm using uh, Babyliss um, prototype clippers. So people people keep asking. They're not. I don't think they're gonna be out till next year. Um, but these are prototypes. I do want to do a review on these prototypes um, pretty soon. So look out for that. All right, let's go ahead and line him up. And you can see where he had his lineup previously. I, you know when I combed it down so we're gonna pretty much just keep it where he previously um, got it lined up because it's gonna be a crop it's gonna be mess messed with anyways this is just to add symmetry uh, to his front profile get that vertical bar nice and crispy I told you guys I, I always detail after the lineup that's what we're doing here he's ready to get out the chair he's already asked me about three times we almost done <laughs> but it's a YouTube it's a YouTube video man we gotta get you right bro it's looking pretty blurry though
Oh, guys, and just a heads up, just a product update. Um, if you've been waiting, shout out to 245 Pure Powder. You can get it at 245.com. Um, but if you've been waiting, oh, real quick, um, notice that when I shake the powder on, I'm simultaneously uh, manipulating the hair. I don't really want this to get on the scalp, but I do want it to get on as much of as much hair as possible. So I manipulate the hair a bunch while I'm shaking the powder on. All right, but I want to tell you guys if you've been waiting on the power clips for the new for the that fit the wall clippers with new plugs. Um, if you order power clips that fit wall, they will work now for both the old plugs and the new plugs. Those are available right now on tune45.com. All right, so we started this design because I almost forgot to do it. You guys. I like to do the designs first, I've told you guys in a previous video, but I forgot in this in this instance. Um, Dad had to remind me, and so we're going to go ahead and put the design in now, starting with the top line, then we'll detail the bottom line, and then we'll add thickness to this peak, this point right here, because um, I think that's how the design in the picture looked. I did my best, man, I tried. Right, that detail is a uh, that detail with the razor is a must. Definitely making it pop much more. All right, guys. So this is the before. Let's check out the after. Shout out to the little man. Um, hopefully he does his YouTube channel like he was talking about doing. Look, we got a little bit of texture there. It's symmetrical. That's dad in the background. Appreciate them coming in, man. And uh, yeah, guys, if you like the video, please let me know in the comments. Smash the like button for the algorithm. Um, just comment courtesy. It's like putting your card back when you go to when you go to the grocery store. Uh, <laughs> I rock with y'all, man. I will see you guys on the next video. We drop daily content.